Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and uh, today's tutorial is a request. Um, many of you probably saw yesterday's video on how to use uh, a VPN and uh, and using Tor and some other ideas for online privacy. Well, you know, I mentioned about using uh, private internet access uh, as a VPN. I received a couple of requests on, well, how do you set that up? So uh, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set it up, and it's actually really easy. Um, and I'll leave a link down below to Private Internet Access's uh, website uh, so that you can go there. You know, I'm not trying to endorse them or say that, or even say that they're bad. Anything, you know, it's it's just you know, it's the uh, uh, VPN service that I use. There's a lot of them out there. Um, do your homework on all of them and, and decide what works out best for you. But anyway, for their service, um, you know, this is how you set it up. So anyway, I've got um, Firefox open here to their downloads page. You can see they've got uh, they've got Mac, Windows, and Linux clients. So just go and pick out the Linux one. Give it a second, and we're going to download it. And you see it's a .tar.gz file. So we'll go and we'll save the file. Give it a minute to download. Okay, that's downloaded. Let me get it out of the way here. By the way, I am running this on my test partition of um, uh, uh, Peppermint OS. Uh, the reason being, my you know my main uh, my main drive, my main OS, you know, all this is already installed. So uh, really can't show how to install it on there. But anyway, okay, so we downloaded. So we opened up our file manager. Uh, it's probably in the downloads, but yeah, I went to the downloads file. So we're going to want to open our terminal in the downloads file, which we're using the Nemo file manager here. So if you do a right click, you can open in terminal, and it opens right up into that uh, into that folder. But uh, before we can do anything, we're going to need to extract this here. So um, let's go down, right click it, and uh, we'll extract it here. So boom, there we go, and you can see you've got uh, uh, this uh, bash script right here. So that's what we're going to run. So we're going to do dot slash, and then the name of the file. So it's p. We got pia dash v sixty one dash installer dot sh and I'll ask you for your password and run the installation and kind of looking at the terminal here you know it will if there's if there's any dependencies you need you know It'll it'll let you know and and you can go and install them and and whatnot. But uh, um, you know uh, when I installed this on my main drive, when I've installed it here, did not need any. Um, uh, did not. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, there wasn't any dependencies that that weren't met, so no issues there. So all that's installed. So you're going to have this little pop up box that pops up that's going to ask you for your username and password. When you go and, and um, sign up for their service, they will send you an email with your username and password in it. So you're just going to put those in here and um, you know, click the Save button and that's essentially it. Now I'm not going to go and do that in front of you because I'm not going to give out my e my uh, username and password. So I'm going to pause the video while I install those or put those in and then uh, we'll come back and, and move on from there. Okay so I've put in my credentials uh, so all that's set up ready to go and so now 
you know, you can go to your menu and you know, put in private internet access. There it is right there. And uh, generally it takes a second. And you can see the new little icon that pops up down in your status bar here. If you go and right click on that, you can click connect and that'll do the connecting for you. So it's easy yeah, there, right there, you are connected. You could also go and uh, we'll go and disconnect. And you can pick a region that uh, that you want to connect to. So if you want to, if you want your IP address to show that you're in, uh, say, UK London, you could do that. Uh, Norway, Sweden, you know, whatever. Uh, they've got a really extensive list of different areas that uh, that you can uh, go and access. And if you want to, um, if you want to go and play around with the settings, which is, that's where the I you know put in my credentials, just come down here to settings, and uh, uh, you can play around with uh, you know the auto connect. And do you want you know maybe you want to go and set it so that. Uh, you know, on startup, it it uh, it, uh, it uh, connects and whatnot. You can do all that from there. But uh, as far as installing it and setting it up, that's all there is to it. Really quick and easy. Just need to run that script in the terminal, and boom, you're ready to go. And uh, you know, I've tried this on a couple different distributions. Uh, haven't found any that it, it doesn't work on. Um, you know, I'm there may be one or something out there that it doesn't work on but uh, uh, you know like I said I've tried it on a bunch of different distros everything seems to work fine no matter what distro I'm on so anyway that uh, that about finishes this tutorial up hopefully it helps you out some um, like I said I will leave a link to private internet accesses website uh, down below in the video description so if you are interested in uh, and checking out their service uh, you can go and take a look at that but uh, uh, as always if uh, you got comments questions all that kind of stuff leave it down below I try to get to it as soon as I can if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on my next video thanks a lot